Hello, everyone. My name is Karen Connolly. I'm with the Situate Select Board. It's Monday, August 5th, and uh, it's a big week in Situate this week, but I'll just start out quickly with a few upcoming meetings. CONCOM, or the Conservation Commission, has a meeting tonight um, at 6 o'clock. The Select Board has a meeting tomorrow evening at 6.30, and we are now doing um, hybrid meetings, which means that if you want to participate in our meetings, the select board meetings, you can now do so by following the instructions on the agenda, which is always attached to the calendar. Uh, the next thing we have is a waterways commission meeting on Thursday, uh, Wednesday, I'm sorry, and then we have a planning board meeting on Thursday. But the big event of the week is on Wednesday, August 7th. At 6.30 p.m., we will be relighting the Situate Lighthouse. Uh, this project has been underway since October of 2022. Uh, the uh, lighthouse beacon room or the lantern room was removed at that point and has been undergoing renova renovation since then. Uh, in addition, while the uh, the beacon was off of the lighthouse, we had to restore the rest of the exterior of the lighthouse. So it's been quite a project. And thanks to many grants received by the Situate Historical Commission and a very um, generous grant from the town of Situate through its community preservation program, $2 million plus was invested in restoring the lighthouse. It's a very important uh, part of our town and I know people will be very happy to see it relit. There will be a brief ceremony um, Jim Boudreau will have some additional information about uh, participating at the site, but as you probably all realize, it's not a big site and it's a congested area. So we've made a lot of um, decisions to limit the amount of vehicular traffic that's going there. He will give you more information about that. If you want to be there, you can certainly walk from the harbor, which people do a lot, or we are arranging for shuttle buses at Situate High School starting at 5 p.m. So you may want that as an alternative. There will also be handicap parking at the lighthouse that evening. But if anyone is keeping track of the time, the sunset on Wednesday, August 7th is 7.54. So if you're anywhere in the harbor and you wanna see the light go on, just be prepared to look toward the lighthouse at 754 and you will see the beacon shining again. With that, I'll turn it over to Jim. Good morning, Jim. Good morning. Thank you. Uh, we'll start with the lighthouse. As Karen mentioned, the lighthouse celebration is this Wednesday, National Lighthouse Day, August 7th. The ceremony is going to start at 630. It'll end just a little bit after 8, uh, after the, light, the sun goes down and we turn to the lighthouse. Starting tomorrow on Tuesday the 6th, portions of the lighthouse parking lot will be closed as we begin preparations for the celebration. Uh, we'll be setting up a stage and some other things. So starting at six o'clock uh, tomorrow morning, uh, you will see portions of the lighthouse parking lot will be closed. Traffic patterns and parking to the lighthouse parking lot will be modified and restricted starting tomorrow. Beginning at seven o'clock on Wednesday the 7th, uh, the lighthouse parking lot will be closed completely. You will no longer be able to park out there after seven o'clock. You will still be able to traverse through it, but you won't be able to park beginning at five o'clock Vehicular traffic on Lighthouse and Rebecca Roads will be strictly limited to residents only. You will not be able to get out there unless you are a resident or an invited guest. Uh, Lighthouse and Rebecca will be two-way for residents at that time, so please use extra care. There will be signage up, but signing at 5 o'clock on Wednesday, Lighthouse and Rebecca will be closed. You will not be able to get out to the Lighthouse. Uh, shuttle buses, as Karen said, will be available at Citroen High School starting at 5 o'clock, and they'll, be, they'll bring the attendees back to the high school when the event is finished. We'll be posting this all online this morning, as well as sending it out by our blast, so you can see that if you have any questions. But just know that starting tomorrow, parking will be limited at the Lighthouse, and on Wednesday, there will be no parking. The parking lot will be completely closed starting at 7 o'clock in the morning. For water update, Tack Factory Pond is even. That's up from minus 2 last week. The reservoir is minus 14 inches, which is up from minus 15 last week. Rainfall the last seven days was 0.97 inches measured at the plant. Demand was 1.421 million gallons a day, which is down from last week's 1.615. We're in okay shape for this time of year, but we actually still conserve. Water is a precious resource. We have a lot of summer to get through, and it has been a very uh, very dry summer. So please conserve. 
And remember, we do have water restrictions that are still in place. You can go to the Water Department webpage to find out what those are. The Recreation Department is announcing the following lifeguard schedule for the remainder of the summer as our lifeguards start to return to school. The final day of lifeguard staffing on beaches will be as follows. Hamarok, August 11th. Egypt Beach, August 18th. Minor Beach, August 25th. And Peggy Beach, September 2nd. So please be aware of that. Use caution, the beaches are still open, but the lifeguards will not be staffing the beaches according to the schedule. The Rec Department also wants residents to be aware that the fall registration for recreation programs opens on Thursday, August 22nd at 5.30. The fall brochure is available on the recreation webpage for you to go look at. We've seen a lot of calls about the purple dinosaur. The purple dinosaur has not been open yet. We are waiting right now for one part that needs to be delivered and installed. Once that is installed, we will get our certification and it will open. We are working as quickly as we can. The contractor is out of that part, but until it comes in, the purple dinosaur will remain closed. On FYI, to all the electric vehicle drivers out there, the library now has two Clearpoint electric vehicle charging stations available. Uh, there are two charges for each charging station, so that means there are four spots for your electric car. The rate is 33 cents per kilowatt hour at the library. Uh, the Harbor Master's Office has announced that the slip wait list for the town marinas is now available for you to sign up on. All registrations must be done online. Visit the Harbor Master webpage. You can use your phone or tablet to scan the QR code. Check your email if you, that your request has been received, and you will be con contacted if a slip becomes available that will support your vessel. Assignments will begin February 1st, 2025. If you go by the high school, you'll see that RAD is mobilized. Start at work on the 10 new tennis courts. That's the removal of the existing four courts and installation of five brand new tennis courts with lights. Uh, drainage and stone work have started. The earthwork on the back is almost complete and the installation of the light poles commenced last week and that will continue this week. Projects scheduled to be considered, uh, sorry, completed in October, November, weather dependent, and the goal is to have the concrete work completed by the start of the school year. A reminder that the appliance rebate program has been extended through the end of fiscal 25, which is June 30th, 2025. Rebates are available for qualified purchases of clothes washes and dishwashers that are ranked on the Energy Star Most Efficient 2023 on newer list. Qualifying toilets must be certified by the EPA and details can be found on that at epa.gov water sense backslash residential toilets. You can find the application on the Citra Water Department webpage. If you have any questions before you buy, call the Water Department at 545-8735. State Department of Public Health has informed the local Board of Health that a mosquito pool in Citra has tested positive for West Nile virus. There are no confirmed cases of humans contracting West Nile virus in the Commonwealth yet. But if you go to the uh, Board of Health webpage, on the news section on the right-hand side, you'll see a link to the Department of Public Health that will give you information about West Nile and mosquitoes and how to keep yourself and your family safe. Beach uh, sampling is ongoing. All beaches are available to swim. The contract on the Jericho Road water main has completed the installation and testing of the water main. This week, they will be installing the laterals Really not a whole lot of work to be done. It's a very quick job, but you will see some disruptions down there over the next couple of days. So just use caution when you're going through there as we connect the new water main up to all the properties along Jericho Road. Uh, finally, I think a good note, um, CP's Pizza, which is now located on the Driftway next to Rivershed, will be opening at their new location this Thursday at 318 Driftway, which is at the sale uh, property where the train station is. Uh, the new location will have seating and a liquor license as opposed to the old location which is takeout only. So I saw Chris this week and he's very excited. I told him I'd mention it. Uh, please don't go on Friday. That's when I get my pizza. I don't want to wait too long. Um, but we're very excited. Good luck to Chris and his staff on their new venture. That's what I have for today. Thank you, Jim. Um, and I, it, I'd like to note that three of the items we talked about today are related to the Community Preservation Committee. They include the tennis courts, the Purple Dinosaur Playground, and obviously the Lighthouse. And um, I, I think we need to thank the Community Preservation Committee for all its hard work on all of these projects, but most especially need to thank the voters of Situate who approved all of those projects at various town meetings throughout the years. And without the Community Preservation Committee money, I'm sure a lot of these projects would not get done or would take years to get done. So I think we have a lot to celebrate in Situate and I wanna tell everyone to have a good week.